Apple makes cool videos. They're colorful, they're lively, and they are engaging. In our new trailer for our brand new title pack, M Title Kinetic 2, we tried to mirror Apple's style, and today we're gonna break down how you can create that same style in three steps. Step one is to take shots or find stock footage of happy people, usually young in age, laughing, smiling, dancing, and just doing their thing. This type of subject matter seems to mirror Apple's goal of being an icon of individuality, change, and rebellion. Something to think about when placing shots in your primary storyline is how can I get them to flow seamlessly from one shot to the next? One way is to try and match the color, composition, subject matter, audio, or movement from shot one to shot two. So what do I mean by this? Let's take a look at these three consecutive clips as an example. These shots flow somewhat seamlessly because they all have matching elements. They're all a similar orangish yellow hue. There's the sun shining in the background in a somewhat similar location and the people in each shot are moving around a bit. Actually, if I turn off these titles real quick, you'll see that I found a point in this shot where the kid's arm starts to fall back down, and I match that up with a part of this shot where the man's arm also starts to swing down. These small matching tips help to trick your viewer's mind into thinking that these shots are all a part of the same shot. If I were to toss a random clip into the middle here, you'll see how it really breaks up the flow. Step two in creating an Apple style edit is to use dynamic and powerful transitions. M Transition Zoom 3 is your best bet for these type of edits because they can help give your edit more energy, they look great, and they are customizable. For example, I went ahead and matched this shot of them dancing at the sunset with this shot of a fire because they're matching in color, and it also helps us to progress the video to a new scene. However, the shot of people dancing has a lot of energy, and this top-down shot of the fire does not, so the cut doesn't flow that well. Let's head into M Transition Zoom 3 in our Transitions browser to add a transition to help this flow better. You'll see we have 10 options of transitions that are essentially blank slates. You can customize these however you'd like to fit your edit. We have custom rotate in transitions, zoom in and zoom out transitions, and more. We also have 40 already customized presets so you can drag them onto your footage and just not have to worry about making adjustments. I'll add a custom zoom out transition to these two clips and let's extend out the duration of the transition by lengthening here. Next, let's head into the inspector window and customize it a little more. I'd like to increase the zoom blur strength, and for this scenario, I don't want any bulge or prism applied. Now you can see that we have a nice, smooth zoom out movement to help these shots flow better. Let's take a look at these two shots. I found a point in his dancing where it seemed like he was almost pointing to the right of the screen, almost like he's passing off the dance to someone else. But this cut just doesn't flow well, even with the hand motion. So let's head back into M Transition Zoom 3 and we want a transition that will look like the camera is panning to the right. Let's go down into the presets just to mix it up and we will try slide right. Let's shorten the duration of the transition to make it a bit snappier. It looks pretty good as is, but if I want to, I can go into my inspector window and customize it how I want, even though this transition was in the preset section. I may adjust the bulge strength a bit, and let's shorten the transition even more. And that looks good. Step three, the final step is to add some lively but simple text to help you or your brand get your point across. We're obviously going to use M Title Kinetic 2. We have 60 dynamic titles that could easily take the place of titles in Apple commercials. Let's add title 47 here, which is really cool. It looks like the words are flying right by the camera to the center of the frame. And the reason we're adding this title here is because it is a similar motion to this M Transition Zoom 3 transition that we have connecting this clip. So let's drag it over our footage and we will trim it down. Let's hop into the inspector window and make some adjustments. You'll see we have lots of options for customization, but it is all easy to adjust. Let's first adjust what we want our text to say. We have options to change the in and out speed, as well as if you'd like it to accelerate in, ease in, and more. Let's change this to ease in. And there it is. It almost reels us into the transition. Last example, let's get colorful with this one, especially since these shots are fun and colorful themselves. Let's add one of the awesome options for text with a color gradient on them. And we'll go with Title 37 here in M Title Kinetic 2. Let's first write our text, and we'll bring it to the center of the frame by hitting Show Horizon by clicking View. Then we can adjust the Y axis in the inspector, or we can use our on-screen controls here. 
and I'll adjust animation in speed so as she starts to spin, the color starts to show up. You'll see at the end of this that we start to animate out, and it would look much better if the title ended when the shot does, so we'll turn off animation out here. Let's also turn off our horizon. And last thing we'll do is change the color. I'll go with a vibrant sunset color, so I'll just change this to a pinkish red. Quick tidbit, if you don't want this text to have the color animate in, just change the gradient fill mode to full. And that's it. I hope this video provided you with some benefit. If it did, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to check out M Title Kinetic 2 as well as M Transition Zoom 3 on the Motion VFX website so you can also create some dynamic Apple style edits. Have a great day, guys.